My name is Albert Pavlinak. I'm Colin Savers. And, and this, this is, is my, my film, film journey. journey. My film journey started out when I was a junior in Melbank High School. At that point, I didn't know what career field I wanted to go into post high school. So I was just kind of floating around. And then I enrolled into a multimedia class to make videos. And that's where I fell in love with the idea of being in the film industry. So I saw that Dakota State University had a film program and I decided to take my chances and try it out. And four years later, after multiple classes, multiple short films and an internship, here I am right now as a fourth year student. My story starts in 2017 when I decided to pursue my passion for film at Dakota State University. Film is not a common degree in South Dakota. In fact, DSU currently has the only program in the state, but it's what I love to do and I wanted to learn to become better at it. Whether it was through a film class or on my personal time, I made sure to make quite a few short films during my time at Dakota State University. Through schoolwork and my own personal projects, I've learned a lot and created a lot of really fun films like this, such as this one, and this, or this, and this, or this, and that one, and even that one. I would say overall, my experience at Dakota State University has been great, but the main reason for that has been the student body of the film program itself. We networked with each other and made Film Fam. Film Fam has been a collection of students throughout my time here at Dakota State University, whether it was through film classes or the Lights, Camera, Action Film Club, where it's just been a unit of students who want to make films. We are, are really dedicated with what we want to do. And I think some of the best projects and just some of the best experiences at Dakota State University have been where we take control of the creative narrative, where it's like, okay, we want to do these projects because that's what we want to do. I've had a lot of great times and learned a lot creating films here at DSU. But the program is very small, so you get out of it what you put into it. In fact, the program is so small that it is now being phased out due to the low number of students enrolled. I was in my third year at Dakota State University when I learned that the film program was going to be phased out. We knew that the film program wasn't the biggest program at DSU, but we didn't think that it would just be completely phased out, especially when we're already in the program. The film program itself has an advertising, a free advertising market already where you can literally have the students make commercials for the film program, and that's free advertising right there. Obviously, Dakota State University would have to market it on its social media pages and whatnot, but at least the filming costs would be slashed because you're having students learn. I don't think, I don't think the program failed. I think the school failed the program. Even though they'll continue to teach it until after I graduate, it still makes me sad knowing that others can't have the same experience anywhere else in South Dakota. That's when I decided that I wanted to become president of the Lights, Camera, Action Film Club. Lights, Camera, Action Film Club, or the LCA Film Club, is primarily just a club for the film students and anyone just interested in the filming process. In a typical year, the club hosts a few $1 movie nights and participates in the Prairie Grass 48 Hour Film Challenge. Those are great, but I thought that we could do more. Since I became president, we've started doing real jobs for real clients on campus, including doing interviews at DSU Trojan Fest of all the clubs on campus, camera operating and video directing for DSU Live's Rocktoberfest 3 live stream, and filming DSU Theater's performance of Vintage Hitchcock, a live radio play. I am currently the Lights, Camera, Action Film Club's Vice President, and my main duties include assisting the President, Colin Sabers, and the other officers and members of the LCA Film Club. I've helped organize the Shadow Casting Art Exhibit documentary videos, uh, which advertised this art exhibit that was made by students on campus. And I've also helped produce the 48-hour film challenge that we had here on campus, uh, Scrabbled. 
What we're trying to do is we're tr trying to provide an essential service for the community on campus here. And it's basically just to make sure that there still is a film presence on campus even when all the film students are graduated out of Dakota State University. Because you necessarily don't need to be in the film program to like movies and films in general, you know? So that's what we are kind of thinking about it where if there's a film presence on campus, that means there's still a film legacy here. We needed to make sure that it stayed here because we just love film so much and we just think it's a travesty that film was just getting kicked out. Working hard to completely revamp Lights, Camera, Action, it is my hope that our little club can survive by providing useful service to the DSU campus. Having videographers right here on campus should not be overlooked. We can provide a lot of help in video coverage and promotion needs. The film program in the LCA Film Club has helped me along this career path. And so during my final year here at Dakota State University, I've wanted to help provide these opportunities to the future filmmakers as well. Through the connections I've made and the lessons I've learned, I have grown into the filmmaker I am today. Now I know it's only the beginning and there's a long way to go, but this is my film journey. With the success of the film club, new students would be able to pursue a passion for film even without the major being offered. That's what I want to leave behind when I leave Dakota State University. And who knows, if the success of the club continues, maybe years from now, South Dakota's only film program could return to DSU. This is my dream. This is my film journey.